I'm Wen Song Yu, uh, Associate Professor at NC State University. This project is to design, manufacturing, and testing a 30 kilowatt electrical vehicle fast charger. We cooperate our design for manufacturing with high reliability, high efficiency, and low cost by using advanced silicon carbide devices. To reach 99% efficiency, we using state-of-the-art topology, circuit, device, and the thermal design with advanced computer simulation. This is the internal fan structure. Yeah, you can see that uh, advanced silicon carbide devices made in USA from microsemi. This custom customized module using the high performance, low cost double side cooling. This internal fan, not the outer fan, make the cooling efficiency 10 times better because now the pressure drop is well controlled. Infinium and the ABB company, they use similar concept by Computer simulation, you will find out the internal fin structure more thermal efficient than the outer side fin. Yeah, this is the first time we use the ceramic for low cost design. We enjoy cooperate with Michael Sammy from marketing team and application team. I invite four engineers to our lab to do the testing side by side. They give us the uh, system guidance for marketing requirement for three years now. I move a digital UPS project to mass production 10 years ago. I hope uh, this project can be successful as well. One key challenge in my area is the cost-effective manufacturing of wide band gap devices in USA. Actually, now we are in the front end of that uh, manufacturing process. I believe, give us, say, a uh, few years, we will dominate this area in the world. Exactly, our partner of Micro Semi, they build the advanced future technology. Now we try to combine the existing market for mass production. From a system optimization point of view, we want to use the state-of-art technology made in USA already, but with marketing advantages over the world. Now the manufacturing of silicon carbide and the GAN devices open a big interesting area for me. For example, I use that wide band gap devices for solid state transformer in future grid application. Also using wide band gap for electrical vehicle applications. Without manufacturing of wide band gap semiconductors, that research area is impossible. I hope we can really do some mass production in USA.